everyone, I'm Jess and welcome to our channel. So this edition I wanted to show you through my perfect autumn winter 18 capsule wardrobe. The things I've been buying and how I would style them. Now I think the thing is with capsule wardrobes is essentially that whatever you put in this section should at least match a couple of different items. So if you choose a pair of jeans, it's gotta go with a few different tops or you choose a skirt, it's gotta mix and match. So capsule wardrobes, of course, aren't a new thing, but they did become a big thing, particularly sort of late 80s when Donna Karen launched her seven piece collection, which was designed to mix and match, which is a brilliant idea. And within, I don't know, 20 pieces, I can make a whole month's worth of outfits. So I've managed to condense it down to a few pieces from my wardrobe that are specifically what I would class as my capsule wardrobe for this autumn winter. So let's get straight to it. So animal print, obviously one of the huge trends for this autumn winter. And essentially for me, if I couldn't find the perfect dress in leopard print, I've been doing the sort of mixing and matching with an accessory. So I've got this pair of boots just to have a little sprinkle of the trend without having too much of it. I find it quite hard finding the perfect kind of tone. And I think by just adding some shoes in leopard print, that's a nice way to introduce the trend. Saying that I have got a couple of animal print or leopard print dresses, which I really, really like. This one, which we've mentioned before, is from Oasis and it's quite old, but it's perfect for this season because it's pleated as well as being a really nice tone of leopard print. And we've put in the description below some other similar ones to this because this is about eight years old or something. There was one from Hush and also Urban Outfitters. We found a really nice version. So I think a nice way to do the trend is perhaps by doing it pleated. It just makes the leopard print a bit more interesting, in my opinion. And then I found this one as well, which is the other one I really, really love. That came from uh, River Island. Love that one again, because it's that pleated kind of look. It's got bat wing sleeves, and I love that kind of shape. It's quite long kind of fits to about mid calf kind of level. And I think that looks really, really nice. The left print dress I would wear with my blazer, which I think we featured before. But I'd equally wear lovely, pretty dresses with a pair of trainers, dress it down. I like that kind of look. Put it with a pair of heels. And I quite like, as you've probably seen, wearing a dress with a nice jumper and sometimes adding a skinny belt with those two. And I'd equally do that with the other leopard print dress as well. Those leopard prints can pretty much mix and match with an awful lot on this rail. Another thing I have a lot in my wardrobe is blouses and I love blouses. I think they're quite feminine, but you can equally dress them up or down depending on what you're doing. Add a blazer, makes it a bit more on trend. Just wear with a nice classic pair of black trousers, makes it a bit more chic for the evenings. And particularly this one is obviously the black backed florals. This one came from Pyrus. This one is from Zara Basics, which I love wearing that with these kind of high-waisted sort of crop flares. I like that sort of slightly 70s vibe. So I've been looking at loads of blouses recently that were slightly more either prairie or a little bit 70s mixed in with all the different jeans. I really like those kind of looks. And this one is another blouse I wear an awful lot. This one is actually from H&M. But to be honest with you, I mix and match blouses an awful lot in my wardrobe. So I think finding the perfect blouses is a good idea for a capsule wardrobe because they will go with so many different things. So particularly for this autumn winter, in terms of sweaters, I seem to have a lot of these kind of golden or brown autumnal tones, which obviously instantly makes you think of autumn winter, but they're really the kind of tones that we're seeing loads of this season. So I got this one from Topshop and it's that really chunky, I think it's called a waffle knit. It's got lovely big sort of bell sleeves. It's really cozy, really toasty. And the main thing for me, I don't know if you've noticed in some of my videos, is my hands. Um, I've got really bad eczema, but just on my hands. So I have to be really careful what kind of sweaters I choose that they don't drive my eczema potty. But amazingly, this doesn't whatsoever. So it's not itchy at all, which is perfect for me. And I would mix and match that again with lots of the outfits in my wardrobe. Another lovely one that I found and another big trend for this autumn winter would be this kind of stitching detail. And I've seen loads of these about recently from other stories, Topshop, ASOS. I've also got a couple on there that I really liked. And I think the trick with sweaters for this autumn winter is all about the shape. So if you can tuck it into a pair of high-waisted jeans or you can tuck it into a high-waisted skirt, 
that's the kind of way to wear it or to style it for this winter. And particularly this kind of, I think it's a 70s kind of look where they did lots of this sort of cross stitching. That's particularly on trend for this awesome winter, but equally that's never gonna go out of fashion either. So it's not a waste investing in those sort of things for this season because it's just a simple sweater that you can wear next year as well. So jeans, I have finally, and it took me a while, got to the stage where I found a couple of pairs of jeans that are a bit different, but I really, really like them. So if you've seen some of our other videos, you might have realized that me and mom jeans were not friends whatsoever. I was having a palaver trying to find a decent pair until I got these from ASOS. Um, these are actually a new pair that have just arrived because um, I don't, if you saw in one of our other videos, the fit was perfect, but I noticed that they'd got a big mark on the bottom, so I had to change them. But I think I finally found a mom jean that was the perfect fit. It's high-waisted, but it fit beautifully. True to size, really lovely tapered leg, the turn-ups on the hem. I wear these with trainers, I wear them with heels, I like them with brogues. They work with so many different things. I'm really glad I sort of persevered to find the perfect pair. And ironically, these are one of the cheapest that I saw. These were only £22. So it's worth having a really good search about because I was kind of losing hope and just thinking, do you know what, maybe that style's just not for me, maybe it just doesn't work, it doesn't suit me. But in actual fact, I think it was just a case of trying on 500 of them and you get there in the end. So for me, this autumn winter, I'd say capsule wardrobe, a mom jean, a crop flare jean, and then just a nice pair of skinnies. These aren't new, these are my old faithfuls, but they're so comfy and I live in them an awful lot. And again, wear them with heels, wear them with trainers. And I think if you find a nice pair of skinnies from a certain brand, if it's not broke, don't fix it. I've got a couple of different pairs of black skinnies and blue skinnies, but I'd say these are my favorite in black, which is probably why they look so well worn. These are from And Or, which I think is exclusive to John Lewis, and they are called the Abbott Kinney style. And just for my shape, they are perfect. They fit perfectly, they wash brilliantly, and I can mix and match them with almost everything in this capsule wardrobe. So next up, I don't wear an awful lot of skirts, to be honest, but when I do, they're always either maxi or midi length. I hate minis on me, I like it on other people. But one of the big trends for this autumn winter, of course, is pleats and then also metallic. And I saw this one from New Look, and aside from being really good value for money, I thought it was really, really nice. And you can kind of mix and match that with any of the blouses. I mean, I'd quite like it sort of cinched in with that blouse. I'd wear it with a little camisole. I'd wear a blazer over the top, probably wear it with a jumper as well. I quite like that kind of dress down look and even a pair of trainers on with it. So having a couple of decent skirts in your wardrobe is obviously a great idea. It's nice to have that kind of midi length and certainly with that sort of metallic kind of look. Now next up is blazers, which is one of the lovely trends from this autumn winter that I personally love. I'm wearing today my black one, which came from ASOS, worn with just a simple white tee, high-waisted cropped flares and just my boots. I personally love this look through autumn winter. I think it's very classic, it's really on trend, but it's very comfortable and wearable as well. So if you're working in an office and then you go meet your friends for a drink or then you're going out for the evening, you can make a blazer work in almost any different way. I got this one from Zara, so it's the classic kind of checked look blazer. I love this one, it's quite oversized. It might be too oversized for some people, but for me, I love that kind of slouchy, sort of slightly French look, I suppose. So big, it's almost like a coat, and I wear that an awful lot. And then this one from H&M, which obviously feels a bit more dressed up than the one I was wearing before. You've got the kind of satin trim around the lapel, but I like these ones for evening, feels a bit more dressed up. And then equally what I like doing, layering of course is another big trend. And if you're anything like me and you're always freezing, layer your blazer. So if one isn't enough, once it gets really cold, put the other one on that's the slightly oversized one. And I think the two of those together just add another element to it. To be honest, if Vogue says that two coats is in for this autumn winter, that's fine by me. If it's gonna keep me super warm, I'm definitely gonna go with that. Coats for this autumn winter, I would definitely say I'm loving my trench coats this autumn winter, 
aside from the fact that they're on trend, I just think it's such a classic look that you can't really go wrong. I'll pop that on top of my blazer. It's actually faux suede fabric, but it feels really lovely. And I think it was about 79 pounds. Just by adding a trench coat on top of my outfit, it just makes that kind of look. I love camel tones against blue denim. I think those two mix really, really nicely. But equally, I probably wear that over a lot of the leopard prints that I've got in my wardrobe as well. All those autumnal tones would work really nicely together. And then also the sweaters as well. I wouldn't be afraid to mix and match all the different brands together because actually camel's just a really big trend for this season. Try not to go matchy-matchy try and think okay well I'm gonna go with that under that kind of thing and then with a the blue denim I think those tones look really nice together and then a classic coat for autumn winter this is my Reese winter coat which may look a little bit creased because I had the clever idea which you won't agree uh, of sticking it in the washing machine so it smells beautiful <laughs> <laughs> it smells like um, fabric softener, but it had a couple of bad stains on that the kids have put sticky chocolate fingers all over me. I knew the dry cleaners weren't going to get it out because they're not that intense with the washers because they have to be careful, especially this is 100% wool. So I stuck it in the washing machine and amazingly it's come out brilliantly just a little bit creased. So anyway, ignore the creasiness. So having a classic winter coat in your wardrobe is always a good idea. I would say you kind of need to invest a bit just to get the quality there so that it's gonna last you season after season as I believe this Reese coat will. And don't go for maybe something so super on trend that by next winter you're gonna feel like it's out of fashion. Probably have it in my wardrobe for years. Aside from the fact that it's a beautiful fabric. I love that slightly blush tone that it's got to it. It's a creamy kind of blush. Lovely trims, obviously 100% wool. And you can stick it in your washing machine, seemingly. But don't try that at home and it go wrong and blame me. So accessories for this autumn winter. I love this kind of bohemian style jingly jangly ones that I'm wearing. These came from Ashiana London and I love them. I'm wearing those quite a lot. And I've got a couple of pairs of the sort of resin looking earrings. I got these from accessories. They're sort of in that tortoise shell kind of resin look. So I do believe with accessories, the joy of it is that you don't have to spend an absolute fortune, but you can dress up your capsule wardrobe or dress it down depending on what you choose. So for instance, just by adding a pair of green earrings with a simple blouse and a pair of high-waisted jeans just makes it look a lot more finished and a lot more on trend for this autumn winter. I mean, they came from New Look and they cost me 5 99 I think. So really reasonable to just dress up an outfit and make it look a bit more on trend just by adding a simple pair of earrings. Couple of pairs of sunglasses, which I love. Sunglasses are really in for this autumn winter, so I've got these ones, which were cheap as chips. We'll tag a few in the description that are actually available, but essentially it's that really round shape that looks a bit 70s. And then kind of a bit more cat's eye type look. They're sort of tortoise shell as well to go with some of the resin earrings. And I think again, with sunglasses, a bit like earrings, it could just make an outfit, just finishes it off really nicely. And then crossbody bags, um, obviously a huge trend for this autumn winter, as they are for spring, summer, and probably will be for next spring, summer as well. I don't think you can go wrong, so you could either invest in probably quite a high-end designer one, or this one just came from H&M. So really, really good value. It actually looks more expensive than it was, and it's just simple, just a simple classic black kind of saddle shape. And I think that looks nice with most of the outfits that I've got on the rail. Then for a touch of color, I do love this one that I found in New Look, which I think they still have available in like a burnt orange tone um, and another, maybe a claret kind of color, which I think are both equally nice as well, actually. I'm loving all the green that we're seeing this autumn winter. And again, it just finishes off an outfit really nicely and probably looks a bit more expensive than it actually was because I think that was like $9.99 or something. So another accessory I've been wearing an awful lot, in fact I don't think I've really taken it off because I absolutely love it, is this ring that I got from Last Night I Dreamt, which is a store that I'd found and started talking to on Instagram. Now apparently it takes three days to make this ring, which is quite insane, and they do it in a traditional Bolognese way that they make it and slowly put on every single little dot of gold onto the ring 
which is quite crazy. I'll do a close-up shot so you can see it in a moment. It's totally my cup of tea, slightly bohemian kind of edge, and I absolutely love it, so I don't really take it off, to be honest with you. But you should have a look at her page on Instagram, because she's got some really beautiful, beautiful jewellery. So hopefully I've given you a bit of inspiration there into my capsule wardrobe for this autumn winter 18. I don't believe you need to spend an absolute fortune. I think it's about key pieces. I think the things to invest in would be a good winter coat, a nice blazer and a nice dress. And then everything else, you can go pretty much high street and mix and match it. I certainly don't believe, I'm not one of those that think you have to go designer for everything, but I think the odd sprinkle of it is always nice. So possibly a nice handbag, a good winter coat, and maybe a really nice blazer. I think they're the key pieces. And then when it comes to jeans and things, in my experience, I'd say it's just a case of trying on lots of pairs. I don't think necessarily the ones that I tried that were a fortune were nicer than the ones that I actually ended up with in terms of the mom jeans for 22 pounds. It's just a case of doing your research or letting us do the research for you and finding those perfect pieces both from the high street and the designers as well. Don't forget to find us on Instagram at fashion and style edit. And please, if you liked this video, if you could give it a thumbs up or subscribe or let us know what you thought in the comment section, we would be really, really grateful. See you next time.